Hey guys, so we, sorry about the wind. We are on our way to auction to go drop off this furniture. There's a leather Ethan Allen chair I got from a storage room. Um, a really neat modernist chest that I kept for my at my house for years. Um, and a couple pieces I pulled from the trash. So we'll see, uh, I'll show you guys where I drop it off and how I drop it off and we'll do a quick walk through the auction. So we're going to Dutch auctions down South Jersey. It's gonna take me about an hour to get there. So everybody have a good day, I'll see you in a minute. All right, so I made it over to Dutch auctions. Um, down in South Jersey. We're gonna go pick up my uh, my ticket to drop everything off, and uh, we'll do a quick walkthrough, see what they're gonna have at the auction. Um, I'll show you guys also what I put on the truck. I had uh, this chest, this antique chest I got for free. We'll take that free sticker off. It's got, you know, it's neat metal and it's got a little wooden drawer in it. Got this modernist uh, table shelf. This is an Ethan Allen leather chair. Uh, this is just a neat modern dresser. And then I got the chrome table. So not not a lot of stuff, but I it'll bring 100, 200 bucks. Um, all right, we'll see what else they have uh, in the in the auction. All this goes up tomorrow. Their auctions are every other Saturday. Um, but you can see all the furniture and stuff. It's a really cool seat box. Um, all right, I'll get right back to you guys. Do a quick walk through. Um, it's gonna rain, so everything's kind of covered up outside. This is all their box lots. I did auctions for a good, uh, close to 20 years when I first started and uh, I guess the reason I stopped is see if you look at all these meat hooks those are kind of fun it I started to it just started to get boring um, you kind of know be able to pick what's going to sell for the most and uh, I mean that's always a fun game to do at an auction but uh, like I guess if you retain most of what you watch stuff sell for, when you go out to the market, you can find all the stuff you see sell. Like, this is gonna get rained on. This is a good $40, $50 piece. It's a shame that it even has the, the old uh, brass sign on the top. But I guess that's the, look at that sign there. Well, that's one of the main reasons I don't really do auction too much anymore. You stand around and waste most of the day. Could sell these too, the the bases. But they throw out a lot of stuff here. Everybody. Um, yes, I do, and I'll, I'll be around this fall. Now, I'll be around this fall, so. But these are all the box lots inside. What is the rule of thumb? They try not to sell anything under five bucks? Yeah. So they'll put like a lot. Now, will they make all these, like the starting bids, five bucks or? Um, pretty much, yeah. I mean, they don't, I, I think, that I don't, the but, auctioneers, you know how it goes. It's for how yeah. Down. No, I know, but. But will they combine a whole table if it doesn't get a bid or no? No. No? Okay. They just and pass. These boxes, these, yeah, these boxes should, you know, do okay. I mean, like, blue, yeah. Blue, no, blue, these, these are pretty with the blue. Yeah. Yeah, so it's... We kind of edited a lot. So right, now I can see you have a lot less garbage than you... Yeah. Than, but... You can all you can make money on all this stuff easy if you came. Um... Costume jewelry. Waffle maker. 
Oh, that's my favorite thing so far. Handmade little wooden planes. They're really cool pieces of folk art. Look at this one. It took somebody a while to car hand carve that. It's not plastic or anything. And the propeller does spin too. That's pretty great. That's the glider. Or it's a. I don't know. They're just cool. That one. That one there. Just neat. I don't know, if you guys didn't have YouTube or TV, you probably sit at home and make stuff like that. So easy to get distracted. All right, this is, these are good. They're brass uh, Victorian uh, door handles. I would say those are about $20 a set. They used to be $50, $60 a set, but got some neat boxes. I haven't seen anything I really need to own though. Mixing table. Mikey Schmidt. That's signed by him too. They always get some neat stuff in their showcases. Mm -hmm. that, that bag of watches isn't terrible. See like something that looks like an Accutron. And then this is all the jewelry over here. So they, they run like two or three auctions at once. Um, the turquoise ring's kind of pretty. We got cameos. But up. Now, are these sold by tray or by the piece? By tray. So all these are sold by the tray. I like the mushroom pin. The ring tray is really cool. On average, what does a costume lot bring? The costume like the tray lots? Yeah. Like, like, like 10, 20. So the ring tray will bring like 50 about or 40? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Maybe even less. I've found my favorite thing so far, but there's only one of them. No, I, I, I know I can leave bids. Yeah. This is pretty cool, though. Yeah, we just got that in today. I think it's two of them, though. I think it's a book. Bookend. Set. Bookend. Or it went on either end of a clock. Some jade. Well, there's an owl ring. I guess it, it is an idea. I could always put my costume together and sell it like this. But mm, the rest of it, they do some vintage clothes. I mean, it's midsummer auction, so a lot of people are on vacation and stuff. But this can be packed all the way. It could run 12 hours to auction here. Um, you can see all the different furniture. They try no particle board. Like if you wanted something that lasted, you know, these, this type of auction, they get a lot of people from uh, the south, and they bring down all the old stuff that. Because around Philadelphia, in between Philadelphia and New York, it's the cheapest spot in the country for antiques just because, I don't know, I guess Benjamin Franklin started the first fire, to, fire company. Philly never burnt like a lot of the other cities. So there's just a ton of antiques. Um, oh, and there's outside over there too, but... It's a cool cow skull and a cool cow rug. So this is the rest of the stuff. All this is for their specialized sale. Um, they do really well with early Chinese. These are really neat. I could sell those in the city. Uh, they're actually new. Look at that. They, but they have the look of something that's... I mean, I'm sure they're designer and worth a ton of money. Rugs have been doing real well up at Brimfield. My friend watched somebody who bought a bunch of rugs for like 15, 1500 bucks, and they were junk rugs for, uh, they bought it for uh, making jackets. So I guess people are crafting with uh, rugs and a bunch of military. Eh, nothing I need though. All right, 
Um, I guess that's it. I, thank you guys for watching. Oh yeah, I got my uh, my check from uh, what I dropped off from one of my cleanouts. wasn't bad. It was worth driving down for. It was like a couple hundred bucks. So. If you do get a chance, come down South Jersey. It's exit 17 on 295. Um, it's pretty easy. It's not, I know they do a specialized sale and put some better stuff in that building. Um, so, thanks for watching. Uh, everybody have a good day. Peace. Hey, so on the way back from the auction, I got a call from the lady from this dumpster. I gave her my number and she said she had some more stuff. So she gave me all this uh, cool little pieces um some cool blue glass hand blown uh, a bunch of tins a lot of tins and i don't know that this one's just pretty it looks like a cloisonne box but it's not and some more brass i'm gonna go drop these off at the donation center for but i don't know it was definitely a good little pick probably got like 50 dollars worth of stuff got a couple more tins in the back here so I don't know uh, always doing something so that's the trick uh, get out and go do something all right everybody thank you for watching again peace hey everybody so we just got back home um, from the thrift store we didn't actually fill it film it me and Gabby were there yeah, hi guys. Um, but we picked up a couple bags of toys. What we figured is we'd uh, go through them real fast. I got one bag of Legos and a bunch of Disney characters. So we'll go through the Disney characters first. You want to do it right here? Yep. And, uh, They're not all Disney. Well, I don't know how many are or how many aren't. So let's start off with this bag. Which one's that? How much did we pay on that bag? This one we paid... Up oh, six bucks. $6. So better make more off of it. <laughs> it would be nice, right? So let's see who we try not to here. scratch them too hard. Yep. So it looks like we've got some Moana dolls. Where's which, Moana? These are some Moana looks dolls. Looks like everything here is Disney, though. This is like a really good buy. This right here is all Disney. Yeah. So right here. Who's this? Wreck that's Wreck It Ralph from Wreck It Ralph. Oh, oh, these these guys are all from Wreck It Ralph. These are every time you push them on that, you're gonna scratch them all up. Though. These this is King Candy, mm -hmm. and these are some of the characters from the game Wreck It Ralph. And then we have two of the Granny Mor Moana dolls, and then here's another Wreck It Ralph. Are these blind bags from or? Yes. And then this is Doc McStuffins brother from Doc McStuffins. That's pretty cool. This it is Doc McStuffins herself. All right. Then this is Fix It Felix Jr. from Wreck It Ralph. This is the Evil Queen, I think, from Sleeping Beauty. I'm pretty sure. And then we have who? Um, oh, she's one of the Wicked Wish, uh, Sisters no, from Cinderella. Of, yes. I don't know who this is. Uh, it's like Puff the Magic Dragon. I don't know, he's got an Italian flag. More of the little characters. Smee from uh Yeah. Um, and we Hunt. have King Triton. Mm-hmm. And so and the little Ariel. Mermaid. Ariel the Little Mermaid. Cubby and Jake from the Neverland Pirates. And then their assistant, I don't remember her name. Yeah, these have to be good. Yeah, they are. I don't know. When, when we saw them, I didn't think there was this many in here. And then there's another Jake in the Neverland Pirates. Oh, you missed this from uh, Little Mermaid? There's No, this is from Finding Dory. I uh, mean, Finding, Finding That's Nemo? from Finding Nemo. Uh, and then this is one of the characters from Wreck-It Ralph. And here's um, Penelope Von Schwartz from Wreck-It Ralph. These are the... Th Mice, mice from Cinderella, Jasmine, Prince Charming, um, Sven, that's his name, right? 
This is Queen um, Merida from... Wow, you're pretty good. From, whatchamacallit? You haven't what? Um... From no, it's not Merida. Brave. Yeah, from Brave, but it's her mom. So, and then there, there's the twins. Or the triplets. Y yeah, the triplets. And here's more characters. From wreck it Ralph? Yeah. Um, there's the prince. I think that's from... Oh, I see two more Doc McStuffin people. All right, what do you want to do next? No, there's... And then here's Lammy and and the hippo. So how many and figures we get for six bucks? And then there's Jasmine, who's a pop figure, and another finding. And then there's... No, that's um, from... Yeah, this that's is from, from... That's where I got confused. So how many are One, there all together? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. I would think we can get two bucks each. So what's 31 times two? 62. 62 for, that's that's almost worth going to the thrift stores every day. Okay, so here How we How much was that one? Four dollars. That was four bucks. Some of these might be, oh wait, where's, oh wait, no, it's 30, it's 34 because we forgot the other, the dragon thing. I didn't count that. Where's the dragon? It doesn't matter. Um, this is Bianca the Mouse. She's from 1977. I don't remember what movie she's from, but. Disney, oh, this is a McDonald's, though. So. Oh. And then here's a lady. That looks like a McDonald's, too. Yeah. That's Lady and the Tramp, though. Wait, it might not be. I think it is. It says it on there. McDonald's, really? Yeah. There's Pluto. MCD, yeah, McDonald. That's not McDonald's, that's Disney. Yeah, that's Disney. It's, um, Doc McStuffins. Another two toys from this Doc This is made Stephens. from Disney, but Another I don't wonder what the blue bottoms are for. I don't know. These are more people from Doc McStuffins. I know he's Mike the Knight from, Stu or is that Mike the Knight, or is that, uh... I don't know who that is. I think it's the knight from Doc McStuffins. There isn't. Oh yeah, it probably is. Yeah, that's him. We got Lady and the Tramp. That was pretty good for. Yeah. Hard figures. Um. I don't know who that's from. I think that's from the Cat Show movie. I don't remember what it's called. And then two more Mickey the Mouse figures. All right. And there's one last one and. One last bag. I don't know what I spent on that last bag. This isn't Disney. No, so I'm putting the McDonald's and non-Disney over here. Wait. Okay, this seems like a lot. And this we spent $3.99 on. So another $4. I think these are all Disney or mostly Disney. There's some pigs. I see some pigs. So this is the I, this is the reason I bought this box. I thought this That's weird. I thought this was super weird. <laughs> but it's, it's it's like a squiggly it's it's not, it's not Disney but it's just fun. But we could get three dollars or four dollars. This is the horse from Brave, I think. Uh I think so too. Um and this is definitely Brave. That's yeah, the Queen. Yeah, that's the Queen. And then so is this. Yeah. Those are the little brothers. I can't stand this one up. I just have to move the legs. Uh, one of my favorites so far, the dinosaur from Toys. It's from the dinosaur. It's the dinosaur from Toys. From toys are us. No, it's just no, toys. Toys. Oh, where's the pirates at? There we go. Yeah. That's nope. the croc. Oh, here's the um, here's from Finding Nemo. Um, this is where the his friend blows up when they go to the tiki. Isn't this Finding Nemo too? Yep. The and shark. Maybe this might be Finding Nemo. Mm, that's yeah, that's Finding that's Nemo. That's Dory. Come on. Yeah. Hi, Dory, funny. if you're watching. Nice to see you. Hi. I haven't seen you at the market recently. <gasps> this is from Finding Nemo, also. No, this is from no, this is from Finding Dory. Oh, Finding Dory. Yeah. More Who's stuff it? from Jake and the Neverland Pirates. This is from Sophia the First. This is the bunny. Oh, okay. Yep, I knew that he looked familiar. Um, 
here is um this is the pig from toy story yeah that's the pig from toy story oh here's the dog from there's disney come on uh, you don't know off the top of your head all right we'll, we'll put him aside but i know he's i think he's from the same movie as this one Honestly, we no, 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 no. We're just he's, having brain farts right now, so from, you don't. He's from this movie. Yeah, he's their dog. Okay, from. Uh... And then this is also from Cinderella. Finding Nemo. Or finding. Oh, yeah, those are the find, from the aquarium. Yeah, finding Nemo in the aquarium. So is this one. And then the donut cop from Wreck It Ralph. That's pretty cool. I mean, we. I think we really cleaned up, and. The crazy thing is, I still have one more bag, but the other bag is all uh, Legos. Um, here, if we lay that bag out, we can see how many minifigures we have in this bag. Or maybe this bag. Lay this one out. Move, uh, move the Moana. No, we can put, we'll pick them up in a second. It's such a nice uh, summer. So... I saw some minifigures, that's why I bought it. I bought this bag for $12. That's a lot. Ooh, what? I see some. There we go. First Minecraft sheep. One minifigure, two, two minifigures. Mini All right, we'll just put the vehicles over. What is this? It looks like a little football player. You find a minifigure? It's kind of a minifigure. It's um, something from a show. It's from Lego the Movie. Yeah, but they also have their own show now. Alright, is that... Minifigure, minifigure, minifigure. Is that a... Who's this? Hermione? No. Oh, Not no. Harry Potter. That's still pretty good. Part of the cow from Minecraft. Maybe the head's in there. Let's, let's put the cow over here. It would be good if we found a Steve or a something. Guy. He's a ghost. I think he's glow in the dark. Is well, he? Is, is he Mark Lego? Yeah, I think he is. That's pretty cool. Yeah, this bag was definitely cow worth head. it. So put it on the cow. So oh, that we don't lose them. Some Minecraft stuff in it. It had Minecraft and everything. Lego Factory Land. That's pretty cool. Dump it all out into the bag. Boat. Oh, I guess we can. This is a good buy for 12 bucks, though. Uh-oh. It's all right. It's fine. Look at that. Two more figures right there off the bat as soon as she dumped it out. Figure, figure, figure. I didn't even mean to pick up Look at this one. I got another one. I think it's Dr. Time. It's a race. This is... Yeah. Try not to throw them all around, though. Be nice to them. Here's a, Here's a horse. Man. Oh, no, this not. was like, I can't believe this bag didn't sell. They, like, this was half off this bag. Like, where's the bag from the, the thing? It was. Look, it's one of her freak out bodies. This was at 26 bucks. And then uh, they gave it to me half for. Uh... Was it ripped? Ooh, no. here's a little Minecraft guy. Probably end up giving up. All right, I might keep him. A little Deadpool. Let me see. Oh, my God. He's kind of fun. You know where you can put him? On your desk. Here, put all the little, uh, all the little implements. There's another one of her heads. Like, all their accessories put in the boat, Okay. I think we did pretty good. How many count how many figures we got so far? So far? Oh here's money. Should I take that out? Yeah, it goes as an accessory. I kinda know how you missed him. I don't know how you missed him. Oh, the Minecraft uh, crafting table. That counts as an accessory. Oh, what is that? It sounds like a motorboat. Oh that's no, it's the guy on his bike. Yo, do we have the Lego, uh, this is a remote control thing for an Lego, a Lego car? This one's really cool. It's one of her heads. He's a motorboat. 
Yeah, see this? Look, it's a Lego remote control. Money. I bet that's worth money. Just Sorry, we're, we ran out of battery real fast. I just found the, the Lego croc and uh, some and hair. I found a new head. I forget her name. Uh, she Princess was from a match. Oh, Princess Cutie Pie? I think. If you guys know the name, comment down below. Oh, man. Sorry I don't respond on comments too much. I, I really don't manage the account that well yet. I, I promise I'm going to put more time into it soon. Found handcuffs. Cool. I found handcuffs too. All right, let's count how many uh, minifigures we found real fast before we run out of battery. One battery. All right, let's count how many we, Lego figures we got One, on uh, 12 two, three. Put, put, them, put them here on this so we can see them all. One. Two, three, four. I think that's her hair. Five, yes it is. Six. Seven. No, they died. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, oh, she's from Pirates of the Caribbean, 20, 21, 22, I just found a watch for God bracelet. That was pretty good, right? 3, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. 28. So 20, oh, wait, Miss Mr. Business over there. No, Mr. Business. Same right there. 29. 29. So that's 29 video, or 29 uh, Lego figures in uh, a $12 bag. So that was pretty darn good. Well, this was what we picked up uh, at the thrift store. Everybody have a great day. We'll see you next time. Peace. Peace.